Did you know Biden once said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black? He also said that poor kids are just as smart and just as bright as white kids. The man can't even tell you what the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution and all that says. You know, the the, the thing, the thing. He is going to put people in such crippling debt to the government that we're going to be drowning. He called our military stupid bastards right in front of them. Like you do realize it's been 43 days since Biden has spoken to the American people. He should have given us State of the Union in the first time in over 100 years. He didn't. So, that's your president. Blessed Lord. He's no longer in his home basement. He's actually in the White House basement. Congratulations. We have a shitty president. You voted for the shit. Thank you. I'll also say you can admit he was, you know, unhinged. Whatever you want to call it. I don't care. He was rough around the edges, you know. But show me the one clip where uh, Trump is telling everybody that this little 12-year-old was just like a 19-year-old. You know, someone with the age of consent. Yeah, give me that one. Show me that. I'm so glad we got the offensive guy out of office. So we can just listen to this old creepy bastard talk about how much he loves children jumping on his lap. Biden will stumble and fumble through every fucking word in his speech. But damn, you let him start talking about a little girl. Mm-mm. My oh my. He gets through that real good. It's almost like he doesn't mean what he's saying otherwise. But it's the little girl comments that are, whew. Yeah. I don't know about you, nor do I care about your opinion. You don't care about mine either, you don't have to. But... I must say, it was much nicer to um, see Trump last night on TV. You know, a man that loves this country. It was great hearing his voice and just seeing him and seeing how much love he has for America. It was amazing just hearing him talk about how much he loves our country. Seeing him on stage and just hearing it was just like... Fresh air. This guy right here loves our country. He loves our military. It's not just a long weekend, man. Admit it. You're not a real Biden supporter. You're just a Trump hater. Tell me something Biden's done that you're proud of. I'll wait. I'll also say before I go to bed that we have this guy here in South Carolina. His name is Gene Ho. And um, when I tell you, he's for this guy right here. He's for this guy right here. He was actually his photographer. And he is running for the mayor of Myrtle Beach. Holy crap, if you have been to Myrtle Beach, you know it's awful. Everyone calls it Murder Beach because there's shootings all the time. I believe Gene Ho is going to go in there and change things up. He is going to shake the shit out of Myrtle Beach. He made America great again. Gene Ho is going to make Myrtle Beach great again. I'll leave that in my heart. Gene also has a book out of, you know, photos of President Trump. It's called Trumpography. Go pick it up on Amazon. We love Gene Ho. If we eliminate the stupid in this world, 
it would be a better place. There's no racial divide in this country. There's a stupid divide. Because there are people and then there are fools. I'm allergic to stupid. If we don't hang out, it's because epinephrine is expensive. We all know those people that are so stupid. And you look at them and think, that's the fastest sperm that won? I just, I'm dumbed down about some of these people. Like, there's some people that couldn't find their way out of a paper bag using Siri. Can we just take warning labels off everything and let nature take its course? If you so choose to dry your hair while you're in the shower, you get what you get. Mm. So for four years, the left was loud and vocal and quite annoying with their vile hatred for Orange Man. Because Orange Man bad, obviously. Because that's what the media said. No one came up with that on their own. They follow the media propaganda blindly. Where are they at now? Hmm? I don't hear them praising Joe Biden. I don't hear them saying, woohoo, I'm so proud of him. When Trump was in office, the first few weeks, I was like, yes, I was so proud of him. This is why I voted for him. Because he was doing remarkable things. So these remarkable things that um, Sleepy Joe over here doing, why is nobody praising him? Why is he not being lifted up like, woohoo? Because y'all settled for Biden. Let's just be honest, okay? Henceforth, the actions done to the American people, the jobs, the economy, and the U.S. government as a whole can no longer be pinned or blamed on one Donald J. Trump. I would like to make a motion that from now forward, any failure within the U.S. government is the fault of Joseph Robinette Biden, voted for by the people living and dead. <sighs> Trump derangement syndrome, no longer. Orange man, no longer. This is your fault. Live with your consequences. Thank you. I have a question. I'm looking at you. Anti-vax moms. Y'all taking this one? Hmm? Is y'all taking this one? If you take an unproven, unregulated vaccine, call it what it is. We don't have some work. But you won't take one for polio or measles or any other vaccine. Kindly go fuck yourself. Just go euthanize yourself. Hey, pick me, pick me. I want to take this possibly doesn't work vaccine. But God, I'm not vaccinating my kids from polio and the measles. Ugh. Euthanize yourself by any means necessary. If you can think for yourself, and you don't have the media to tell you orange man bad, tell me why you hate Donald Trump. Do you hate him because he's so mean words? abrasive. He's unapologetic. Socialism leads to communism. Okay? Communism. Have you noticed in the past four years there have been no new wars? Oh my god. That's why the generals don't like him because wars make money. Class war. Okay? Y'all should have really dug into this before you voted for this guy.
the fact that dead people vote is beyond me. But the fact that, you know, illegals vote, I have to have an ID to go vote. I think every motherfucker should. If y'all thought the 2016 was a hot mess, y'all we going back to the hanging Chad bullshit with who the hell is the president, okay? This is gonna be so chaotic, so unnerving, and just so, ah! like, I don't even know. One lady said that her cat got a mail, something in the mail from voter registration, and I'm like, dude, it's a fucking cat, okay? He's been dead like 12 years. I have 100% hope and faith in Trump and the supporters, but the left is so deceitful. Deceitful? Deceitful. Very evil people. They lie. Will someone explain to me what happened to the generation of school children that had to get up in front of their class and read the Constitution? The speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Shut up. But yes, do they stop doing this because the Constitution says mean words? Like, the rights to bear arms. You know? It's all hurtful. I vividly remember fifth grade having to read the Constitution, and that's when I learned to read upside down because someone in front of me in the front row has a book open and I was reading it upside down. I digress. But for real though, I read the Constitution in school. It's helped me like trivia crack though. I remember these thing over jiggers. So, did no one else in this generation, of today's generation that's in school, do y'all not read the Constitution? a clear Trump supporter of course. I never thought I would love Ted Cruz but he's a troll. Have y'all seen his Twitter? I mean like for real though. And the love you. <laughs> just posted a 21 second video of him walking out not wearing a mask and then heroically putting his stupid ass mask on. So of course my boy here Ted Cruz I never thought I'd like. Just <laughs> made fun of him. He said, wait. He goes outside without a mask trying to kill everyone? Because I said that about Trump. But you know. And he heroically and majestically puts his mask on. And it's such a stupid act. And he, he's so stupid. Stupid. And you literally just said that Walmart wants to buy TikTok. So now, instead of just standing there aimlessly, they could stand there and dance on TikTok instead of just having to register them and actually doing their job. I have two versions of myself driving. Okay, I have the, here you go, here you go. And then I have the get out of my way person. I, I'm, I'm both. I will stop traffic to let someone pass that's been sitting there for a while. And then if they don't move, I am getting sick. But if I'm driving through the Walmart parking lot or something or grocery store parking lot, if it's too hot, too cold, rainy, I will let everyone, I'll stop so people can just go in the store, get in there, okay? Because I believe if it's like blistering hot, freezing cold, or raining, let everyone go. Don't make them sit in that nastiness. Not. Uh uh. Who else is a driver? <laughs> so, I observe things. I will not always say something, but I observe when it takes longer to respond, when your responses become one word, when the conversation is one sided. I've learned to pay attention to this, and you always trust your gut. What pisses me off more than anything in this world is guys that think they can float in and out of my life like a revolving door. Like, hey, you know, I'm bored today. Let's talk. Let's exchange needs. I am not here as a masturbatory aim. I am not here to entertain you. 
I am not here for anything to convenience you. You talking to the wrong bitch. I have standards and you don't fit them. So. You know, they delayed it for six weeks because of COVID. So they delayed it and I went there. 1,106 cadets were graduated and beautiful. Beautiful cadets. So, this is just to show you how bad the fake news is. So, they said to me, sir, we're ready to go. I say, let's go. This is after saying hello to a lot of cadets. Uh, inspecting little areas of a building that was very exciting. Actually, it's beautiful, very old. Studied a lot of our great generals, some of our presidents that went there. West Point is beautiful, right on the Hudson River. But after an hour, general that runs it is fantastic guy. After an hour, we land, we do some more inspections, and they say, sir, are you ready? Yes, I am. So we walk like the equivalent of a... Make a note on something. If you go somewhere, good on you, don't care. But if you go somewhere and then you get in your car and you have your mask and your gloves on, you're an idiot. You are what's wrong with everything. When you go to Walmart, you're touching things. Then you get in your car, you're touching your car. You are touching everything. Stop it. Stop it. Okay? Stop it. You are just, that makes no sense. Like, why? Why? Next time I see someone do it, I'm gonna spread some. It's for Reese, but making a boy. I'll get Lysol and I'll spread some. Jesus. Stop it. I'm annoyed with it. Wearing them in your car defeats the whole freaking purpose. Why is this bothering you? One thing people don't realize is that while they sat there and protested and fought for and voted for our rights to be taken away, their stupidity is going to come back and it's going to haunt them. Because I hate to tell them when they realize that this was so high on the list for a reason it's gonna to be too little, too late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. But if you want it, come take it, okay? Take it from me. Come and get it.